Oh! Ho! Oh, Rob! Hey, it's stupid movie time, man! Yeah! You ready to do this? Let's do it, but first I gotta take a leak. Okay, I'll wait for you. Okay, be right back. Ah! Ah! Screw you. Wow, look at this. <laughs> Welcome to Stupid Movies, where we watch them so you don't have to. That's right! No. Man, that was loud. That was really loud. Hey. And this one, Freddy Krueger's out there like, ooh, that was too loud. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. And welcome, uh, yeah. I said that. Uh, yes, you did. And this week. And this week, we watched, we watched The Bay. And today is the 4th of July, 2020. And this movie takes place on the 4th of July, 2009. 2009. 11 so. years ago today. Yeah. So when did this movie come out? Uh, well, yeah. Uh, this, The Bay, 2012. It's 84 minutes long, and it's rated R. And it was directed by Barry Levinson, and starred Kristen Connolly, as we know from Cabin in the Woods mm -hmm. and the Zoo show. Yeah. Show called Zoo, and other stuff. Yep. Um, uh, Will? I didn't write the guy's last name, so we'll skip him. And good job, Will. <laughs> Keith or Donahue. So... It's the 4th of July, and we got onto a boat and started row, row, row on our boat gently down the stream, and we ended up in Maryland. Chesapeake Bay. Chesapeake Bay. What happened once we got there? Bugs. Yep. And it's their annual 4th of July celebration. Everyone, you know, eating crab and swimming and doing a lot of water stuff, but the water is full of mutant isopods. Isopods. Uh, because of a combination of a nuclear leak and chicken shit filled with uh, hormones to accelerate growth and pollution in general uh, makes these isopods grow from eggs to full size. And by full size, they were big right. as isopods within like eight hours. These uh, isopods are hatching inside of people and eating them. From the inside from the out. inside out. Uh, it is found footage. Yeah. Which I will say, if you know me and you, I think for, to a degree, not a big. I'm fan. generally against found footage. Yeah, but. not a fan of found footage. So why I chose this to be on me, I didn't really realize that. No. But I will say, um, this is found footage done right. Yes. This, this is how you can make a found footage film work. Not to front load it, as Ben and Greg on the Umbraniac say, but this is probably. The best found footage movie I've ever seen. That's a perfect way to hop in to our lake of likes. Yes. Mm. That was good. Thank you. Stay out of the water. This movie felt incredibly authentic. And yes. it, it had a sense of realism to it. I mean, just the way they executed the found footage, it was just, it, it felt like I was watching uh, a real thing happen. Honestly, it felt more like a documentary mm -hmm. for the most part. Like a really well done compiled the footage of this horrific accident documentary that made this movie genuinely scary yeah. we don't say that often no we're pretty jaded when it comes to horror movies i mean we've seen so many so but this is kind of what we want right this is what we search for when we this is what you look for look for movies as a movie to actually get under your skin as I did in this movie. And eat you? And eat, well, I don't want to be eaten from the inside out. By the movie. Right. I mean, it was tense the whole time. It was, it was, it was, it was the atmosphere was awesome. Right. If I'd watched this a year ago, this may not have hit me as much. But through probably the first, what, two thirds of the movie, they don't really know what's going on. They think it's a virus. Right. Or a bacteria. And with the situation we're all in right now, um, it felt very relevant to where we are, yeah. even though, you know, this movie's, what, eight years old now? Yeah. Um, but it felt like this could have come out today and would have been just as effective. And around here, there's a lake not far from where we live that they're finding toxic stuff in the algae, which they talk about. Yeah. It. So it's just kind of <laughs> like, well, here we go. If you never see never, uh, <laughs> another episode of Stupid Movies again, hope you enjoyed us. It's because I crawled into Rob's skin and ate him from the inside out. <laughs> Uh, the score, along with the atmosphere, was awesome. Oh, yeah. Kind of um, reminded me a little bit of The Thing. Not like the same kind of, not the same music or nothing, but just kind of that deep bass kind of, yeah. kind of foreboding kind of 
oh gosh, something's happening. What is going on? The gore, there was quite a bit of gore, not a ton. And the special effects, it, lo it looked practical for the most part to me. And the makeup effects were great with the boils and the rashes and the yeah. blood and the, the eaten out faces. And it was just, they used it in a minimal amount, but there was a lot. If that makes sense. Um, it does, and you know it. Um, <laughs> it doesn't? <laughs> well, they, they, they had a lot, but they use it sparingly. They had a lot, but they didn't have a lot. You know what I mean. The acting was great in this. Acting was phenomenal by a everyone. Acting in a found footage is tough anyway because it's always that combination of scripted and improv. And I thought everyone did really good, especially, and, and I pointed this out to you, especially the kids who were in this movie, like the yeah. younger, you know, like eight, nine, ten year olds and a couple of teenagers. Right. I thought they killed it. The story, it wasn't anything, you know, groundbreaking or really even new per se, but the way they do it, they executed it perfectly. And it, I mean, within 10 minutes, I'm sitting going, I am intrigued. We are both legitimately, I think, creeped out at times. Oh, absolutely. Which is almost embarrassing to say. No, I'm not embarrassed. <laughs> That's what I want yeah. out of a horror movie. Me Thank too. you for doing that. I am stoked that it made me... <laughs> I think my favorite part of this movie was there was a jump scare in there that you jumped at. Yeah. Okay, I jump at everything. You could make a loud noise right now and I would jump. Watch. Bah! Bah! <laughs> I'm going to jump at every jump scare. It's just who I am. Yeah. Uh, and something about the loud noises makes me pop up. You hardly ever do. But this one, you, like, jumped out of your seat. Yeah. I gotta say, man, those isopods were fucking creepy as uh -huh. shit. That makes me happy to hear you say that, because I know you're not a big fan of creature features. And this is essentially a creature, creature feature. feature. I mean, oh, it says right there, disturb, uh, uh, oh, a realistic and profoundly disturbing creature feature. Spot there you go. On. Our review's done. <laughs> but yeah, and this is, it's not a corny thing. I mean, it's serious, straight to the point. Yes. And it does not mess around. There's a few parts where, like, Jesus. That's yeah. brutal. There, there were no dudes in a rubber mask. No. There was no fake ass rubber bugs. Right. Everything was very grounded in reality, and I think that's what helped this more than anything. Big was time. it was everything was just that far removed from reality. The mayor in this movie is a giant flaming dick. He reminded both of us <laughs> of the governor of Nebraska, yeah. our our fair state. And the way he reacted to this is very, very similar to the way our governor has reacted to what's going on in society right now, where he just basically said, well, everything's fine. Don't worry about it. We're going to go about life as normal and let's pretend it's not happening. Which I think that's a good segue into the very minuscule amount of dislikes that we have for this. Yep. The governor... Mayor. Or mayor... <laughs> same name difference in yep. a way. Both douche weenies. Basically. <laughs> Um, they were both balding, too. Yes, they I were. I didn't even put that together until just now. Yep. Ah. Balder balders. His death, spoiler, was weak. Yeah. I mean, he was the, the worst character in the movie, and he was just one that you wanted him to just... You wanted to see these things just, like, eat him alive. And yes. Be like uh, in Creepshow, the cockroach story, where they're coming out of his skin or something. <laughs> that would have been cool. He deserved something like that, but instead he just basically gets hit by a car and dies from his injuries. He was the closest thing to a bad guy this movie had. He needed a very violent, graphic, yeah. satisfying death, and he didn't get it. And then the biggest thing about this, we, you know, we said it creeped us out, you know, and made us uncomfortable, which is awesome, but it caused a lot of anxiety. <laughs> it's an anxiety-inducing movie, and I hate anxiety. I have enough of it, damn it. it. It was very tough to watch this movie. It was. So, all right, I will say this movie was badass, man. I, uh... I, it was just fun. It was executed perfectly. It was fast paced. The it's shocking to me to say that I enjoyed a, a, a found footage movie. Are you okay? I, uh, I I enjoyed this movie a lot. I mean, this movie was it was fun. It was creepy, scary, legitimately scary, relevant, great atmosphere, quick pace, awesome gore, uh, creepy creatures. Uh, just right up my alley, man. Aside from the found footage, but they executed perfectly. Best one I've seen. So you know what? I'm gonna go eight out of eight on this because it was it was it was well made, dude. I had a blast with this. This movie legitimately bothered me. It got under my skin, and it's been the descent. The descent was the last Ooh. movie to do that, and it only did it for me because I'm claustrophobic. This is the movie that's gonna stick with me. Uh, and, and next time I go to the lake or go yeah. swimming somewhere, <laughs> this is gonna be next time I take a shower. I'm gonna be like, oh great, 
I'm going to be filled up with fucking mutant isopods now. <laughs> uh, I'm never going to shower again. Never. Never. I have a hard time saying I liked it because I kind of didn't. I didn't like the way it made me feel. <laughs> right. I liked that it made me feel that, but I kind of didn't like feeling that way. <laughs> I'll never watch it again. Um, oh, I will. But I'm giving it an 8 out of 8. I highly recommend you watch it, especially right now in the middle of a pandemic. If you need to be scared, this will do it. Do it. If you dig us, if you like what we're doing, you can like and subscribe. Tell your friends if you want. Um, you can follow us on on the Instagram at Stupid Movies, at Dr. Sketch Turner, at The Horror Punk. Uh, we also have a band camp whenever it lets me start uploading again. I'm having problems with that. It's ticking me off. Um, Facebook? Facebook.com slash Stupid Movies for stuff, too. Yep. Email? Email is um, Stupid Movies at Outlook.com. Yep. Hey, uh, completely unrelated. We were just yesterday, which by the time this comes out will be... Four days in the future from now, right. we were on a show called Neon Brainiacs. You've probably heard us talk about him before. We were huge fans. Mm -hmm. um, ben Deedles, we've reviewed his movies, uh, at least one of his movies before. Yeah, well, two. He was, yeah, and Carousel, which he acted. Which he was in, yeah. Uh, and, and so we're big fans. Big fans. Um, and also, it was really cool. We got to be on there talking about one of our favorite movies. Not going to tell you what it is. You'll have to tune in. Uh, just anywhere you get podcast search for Neon Brainiacs. Yep. Oh. All right. Whoa, sh damn it. I thought we were... No, uh, there is one other thing before we go. Send Rob pictures of your ISO penis. He's starting a collection. <laughs> damn it! If we rubbed chicken poo on our wieners, within eight hours, would our wieners grow? Only if it was radioactive chicken poo. Okay.